Hey there, it's Jay once again with some mobile game reviews from Mob.org. Today we're going to fly in a plane, go sailing, ride fighter robots, become a Saracen leader, chop some zombies, and look at Batman's morning jog. Let's go! The first game for today is called Aircraft Combat 1942. This is an arcade flight simulator and the numbers in the title immediately suggest the year it is set in. Actually, this is more of an arcade game than a simulator. There's not even a trace of some Ilyushin IL-2 plane. For example, you could easily learn to fly, yet shooting is a bit more complex, but still not too difficult. Overall, the graphics are nice, missions are different, and the space is huge. So gear up, boys, let's fly! The second game is Age of Wind 3. It's a game about pirates. If you like the kinds of games where you need to sail, attack enemies with a cannon, and hunt for treasure, then this game is definitely for you. Generally, if you played Corsairs, you'll get the game immediately. You need to catch the wind and fire from your side guns. By the way, you can build your own small fleet and become a true master of the seas. In my opinion, the game is at least worth checking out. The next game is called Airborne Core. It is a multiplayer shooter where the main focus is on heavy machinery, just like in Tanks Online. But here, in addition to tanks, you can choose from a variety of vehicles, both air and land. There are tanks, helicopters, and even hefty military robots. During your battles, you earn money that you can use later to unlock new military units. But the rest is fairly predictable. Capture points, shoot, hold the base, and so on. Cut a long story short, it's fun! Our fourth game today is called Automania. The naked eye can see that it is a clone of Plants vs. Zombies. Only it's about some Mongol dudes. It's pretty similar. On one hand, you have waves of stomping guys with swords and try to get to your tents. And on the other hand, you place your Saracens to prevent them from crushing you. You have pots of food instead of sunflowers, and archers instead of peas. Overall, it is a decent clone. Only when we were fighting zombies, their arms would fall off and stop, so you can always see how many hit points the zombie has left. Here, the damage is not displayed visually, and you can't distinguish a healthy enemy from a nearly dead one, and that's not very good. Next up is a game called Zombie Diary 2 Evolution. This is a cheerful and brutal zombie slasher, a pretty fun thing with pretty interesting characters. For example, one of them is a cat inside a robotic costume and sporting a shotgun. Thrash and burn. You walk around, shoot, saw, and generally destroy zombies in batches. The only thing with the game is it has a lot of flesh flying around, but surprisingly little blood, which, in my opinion, slightly spoils the fun of dismembering stuff. But still, this is a cool game. The last game for today is a runner called Batman and the Flash Hero Run. Basically, it's a standard game for the genre. There's absolutely nothing new. At the beginning, you choose who you want to play as, and depending on that, you get to go to a certain location unique for every character. And that's probably the only feature of the game. Oh, and during the race, you can pick up ammo and shoot your enemies. Sometimes bosses pop up and you need to shoot them too. The rest is a standard runner with fairly stiff running animation. I think they could have tried a bit harder when they knew they were making a game about such famous superheroes like Batman and Flash. But overall, the game's playable. That's all for today. If you liked the review, subscribe to the channel, like, and comment. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!